Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today Google released Android 13 QPR 3 Beta 2 and I have it here on the 6 Pro to show you each and every change. So without further ado, let's jump in. So let's start with the build number. It's T3B2.230316.003 and now let me show you the new changes. The first change is located under settings and then security and privacy. Then you need to expand device lock and the tap the gear icon next to the screen lock. And here you will find a new toggle called enhanced pin privacy and the description says disable animations while entering the pin. And that simply means when you get the keypad and then start typing your pin code, as you see the buttons are not animating and that will make it a little bit harder for others to see your pin. The second change is in the picture in picture view. So for example, here I will start the navigation in Google Maps and then swipe up to go to the home screen. And as you see, it will show you the app icon briefly until the uh, picture in picture window finishes loading. And this is something you won't see on the stable version. So here I have the 7 Pro running Marsh update. And when I go out, as you see, I'm getting a blank white screen. Change number three is in Google Assistant. When you press and hold on the power button, you will see here that the mic will not start automatically and it will ask you to tap the mic to start talking, which is not the case in the stable version. As you see, the mic starts automatically once I press and hold on the power button. The fourth change is in the recent apps screen. Now when you tap the app icons, you will see here that the split top option is renamed back again to split screen like the older versions of Android. The app shortcuts also got a minor tweak. Now you will see that the pause and info icons are now swapped in the newer version. And when you go to your home screen settings and then scroll down, you will see that search your phone now has a description instead of being blank. And it says choose what shows in search results when you swipe up on your phone's home screen. And when you go inside, you will see some differences too. Now we have three toggles instead of two and the search the web now called web suggestions. And we have another one called device results and the description says history based device results and suggestions. But when I tried the system wide search on both, I didn't notice any difference between the two. Also, you will notice here that the learn more button is no longer showing in the newer version like before. And when you tap on manage preferences, it will still take you to the Google Home app like the stable version. No difference here. The media controls also got a small tweak for the YouTube videos. As you see, I have two videos playing on both versions. And when I tap and hold on it, it says here that I have the option to hide the media controls for this YouTube video. And the description says hide this media control for YouTube. While in the previous version, it says the current media session cannot be hidden. So this will give you more flexibility in the newer version. And the last change I'm going to show you is in the markup app. So I will take a screenshot and tap the edit button. You will notice here in the newer version, it will immediately show you the color of your pen and a brush. And instead of just tapping on it first to see the color. And also when you change the color for any of them, both will change together, not only one like before. Now let's talk about the bug fixes and we have a total of five. The first one is fixed for an issue that caused the volume panel to flicker when adjusting the volume using the volume buttons. Fixed for an issue that caused the system UI to get stuck in a blurry state in some cases, such as unlocking the device or finishing a phone call. Fixed for an issue where the notification shade was closing immediately after a user opened it. Fixed for an issue where the always on display was displayed over apps and other content after unlocking the device. And finally, fix for an issue where a device couldn't copy apps and the data wirelessly after the first setup. And when it comes to the stability and the performance of this build, I didn't notice any major bugs while filming this video. It works pretty well so far on the 6 Pro, but I'm not sure about other models. But if you want to give it a try, I think this one is solid and you can go ahead. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new changes in Android 13 QPR 3 Beta 2. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you the next video.